Hey everybody, the PS4 9.00 jailbreak just dropped. Let's see what it takes to get it installed on your system starting now. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to make sure your PS4 is on version 9.00. If it's not on 9.00, here's how you would need to upgrade it. So head over to this darksoftware.xyz site. And the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to register for an account. So here I just went ahead and I filled out my registration information. I believe it says check your email account for the activation email. And on mine, mine was actually just hidden right over here in the spam folder in my Gmail account. You should be able to find it if you look there. And all you have to do is select it and then go ahead and click on the go to button. At this point, your account is activated successfully. So we're going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to click the login button and then submit. And now that that's complete, let's go back up to PS4 firmware list. And we're going to go all the way down to where it says 9.00. Okay, 9.00. We're going to click download. Okay, great. So now that that's downloaded, grab one of your USB sticks and stick it inside of your computer. Okay, so we're going to open up disk management. It's on Windows by default. We're going to simply go down to the disk one in my instance, because this is my drive, and I'm going to go format, and I'm just going to change the file system here to FAT32, and then I'm going to click OK, and then OK again. So it takes it just a second, and then you'll see healthy and then basic data partition. Okay, great. Now we're ready to copy the update onto it. Okay, over in your downloads folder, you should see the PS4 update 900.pup and just go ahead and right click on that and copy it. Okay, let's go down to our thumb drive and we're gonna click new and then folder. This is just gonna be titled PS4. And then we're gonna go inside that folder. We're gonna create another folder. This time it's just gonna be called update. And then finally, you can go ahead and paste in that update file. Now, once this is complete, and this is a very important step, don't pull the USB drive out and start going with it. First, you're going to need to come back in here, and you're going to need to rename the file from where it is saying PS4 Update 900 to remove the 900 piece, and it should just be PS4 Update.pup. Now, you're ready to safely eject the USB stick and to put it inside of your PlayStation 4. On the PlayStation 4, head on over to Settings, and just to verify the version I'm currently on, I can go into System Information, and I see that I am on 8.52. Also, make a note here of what your IP address is. You're going to need this a little bit later on in the process, but just write that down somewhere. Another good idea while we're here is to go ahead and go into the automatic downloads and just make sure the check on all of those is just completely off. Head back now and we're going to go to where it says system software update and it should find version 9.00. You're going to just follow along with these update prompts here because basically we just want to get the system on 9.00 in order to proceed to the next step. And while this is finishing up, if you happen to have already updated to 9.03, just hang on. I'm hearing there's good things that's going to be coming. Okay, so the PS4 is just booting back up again. We're just going to go double check to make sure that 9.00 did apply successfully. So just simply go ahead and head back over into your settings. And you can go down to where it says system. And then finally... You're going to take system information, and we can see here it is on 9.00. Now back on our computer, you're going to need to download this thing called Win32 Disk Imager. So head to this site. Again, all the links are in the description below, and click on the download button. And then you want to come back over here to this GitHub URL, and you want to click right here where it says xfathacks.img. Now, another quick thing to note here is that there's a lot of folks that's passing around pre-built packages that has all these files downloaded. Go and download them from the source. That's my recommendation. Download them from the source. Don't look for one of these big packs that has everything in it. Uh, you always get the latest and greatest version by going to the source.
Okay, back over in our downloads, you can see we have our Win32 Disk Imager.zip, and we're going to just simply right click and we are going to extract that. Okay, let's go ahead and let's install Win32 Disk Imager. So next, and you can create a desktop shortcut if you want, install, and it should be finished up. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run the application. Now, one thing you'll note is that it is asking for the drive letter of your USB device. You can simply double check that by just coming back out here. And this is where we previously installed our PS4 update. I'm just going to use that same drive. So that's on volume D. So it's on the right one, which is device D. And let's go ahead and let's open up the image file here. And I'm just going to select the EX fat hacks and we're going to need to ensure again the device is the proper one and then we're going to just simply go over here and we're going to click on the right button and we're going to hit yes there it should only take just a second and now we have a successfully formatted usb device okay back over on our playstation let's get that ip address if you didn't copy it down earlier it's just going to be simply going in here to our settings and we're going to scroll down to network and then finally we're going to go down to view connection status and there is the IP address. Once that's done we're going to head back over and we're going to go into our web browser. So let's go into our web browser here. I'm going to go to my bookmarks here and I'm just going to select this top bookmark. Now if this is your very first time running this you definitely don't have a bookmark already so just type in the URL that's presented above and once that's done, make sure you head over to where it says PS4 9.00, and we're going to select the bin loader. So once I click on bin loader, and this is all real time, no editing here, just so you can get a sense for how long it actually takes. We're waiting for a screen to pop up asking us to insert our USB device. Again, this is exactly how long it took mine. And there it goes. So at this point, I plugged in my USB stick that I just made. And once you plug it in, make a note that it does say, do not close the dialog until the notification pops. As you can see right up above, I've paused it here, but the USB storage device file system is unsupported. This is exactly what you want to see. Once this is complete, you're just gonna go ahead and press on the OK button, and it should say awaiting payload. And congratulations if it did, because you were very close to being there. Now you're gonna need some way to inject a payload in order to get kernel access. So check the description for a link to these two files. We're gonna go into PS4 payload injector, and we're just gonna go ahead, and we're gonna run this file here as an administrator, and remember what I just said about remembering those IP addresses? Yes, you're gonna need those. So I'm gonna go 10.00.111, and you're gonna know that it successfully worked, but obviously down here at the very bottom where it does say the status is connected. The other thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to click where it says search payload, and we're going to need to select the payload that I already have. Okay, so let's click search payload. And I'm just going to select the one that's included in this package. And we're going to send the payload. Okay, so this says that it works successfully. Okay, so if you see both of these being as green, then chances are you're in great shape. So back on your PlayStation 4, you might have seen where it was activated successfully. If you didn't, chances are that's still okay. Go ahead and hit the home button to get out of your web browser and you're going to navigate to where it says settings. And you should see gold hen all the way up at the very top. So I can click on gold hen and this is, these are all of the different types of settings that you can use. This is what features that it brings to it. Uh, and then most importantly, if you scroll all the way down, you see debug settings and you go into game. This is where you'll be spending a lot of time with the package installer. Okay, so that is it for today. Go ahead and check out my channel. I've got tons of other types of videos on like Xbox hacking or Wii or Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 2. Lots of stuff on PlayStation 3. 
I greatly appreciate your time, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.